Cast iron skillets are durable and versatile pieces of cookware. If you season your skillet the right way, you'll set yourself up for years of great cooking and easy cleaning. Here's how to properly season your cast iron skillet. Before you season your cast iron skillet, let's review what seasoning actually does to your pan, how it works, and why it's important. When oil is heated to its smoking point in cast iron, its fatty acids oxidize and reorganize into a new plastic-like layer of molecules. This process is called polymerization. This layer becomes trapped within the pitted surface of the pan and bonds to the metal itself, creating the slick coating known as seasoning. Seasoning forms a natural, easy-release cooking surface and helps prevent your pan from rusting. To season your cast iron skillet, you'll need the same equipment that you use to clean your pan, plus some coarse kosher salt, mild dish soap, and some aluminum foil. You'll find all the products we used and recommend linked in the description below. Start by preheating your oven to 500 degrees Fahrenheit or as hot as it will get. You can also season your pan on the stovetop, but it will take considerably more time. Scrub the pan with warm, soapy water and a scouring pad on the rough side of the sponge. The goal here is to remove any loose debris and residue you wouldn't want to bake into your seasoning. As we went over earlier, normally you should not use soap when cleaning cast iron. However, it's alright in this case because we are about to season the pan. If you find some bits of debris simply refuse to come off, add about a quarter cup of salt and a small amount of water to the skillet. Use the nap made scrubber or a dish towel to scrub the surface free of any remaining residue. Then rinse the pan thoroughly. Check out the description below to learn more about how the nap made chainmail scrubber cleans your skillet without scratching it. Wipe down the pan with a dish towel, then set it over a medium low flame for a few minutes to fully dry. While the pan is still warm, cover the surface with a very light layer of oil. Again, we recommend using grapeseed oil, but other neutral oils will also work. With a fresh paper towel or dish towel, wipe off all the oil you just applied. Be sure to thoroughly buff off all the oil, or your cookware may become sticky and you'll have to repeat the seasoning process. Now place the skillet upside down on the middle rack of your oven. Place a large sheet of aluminum foil on the bottom rack to catch any oil drippings. However, if you wiped off all the oil thoroughly, you shouldn't have any drippings whatsoever. Bake the pan at 500 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour. Then allow the skillet to cool in the oven. If you completed the process properly, your pan should have a nice matte black finish to it. An easy way to test the skillet seasoning is to fry an egg in it. Heat a tablespoon of vegetable oil in the pan over medium heat for about 3 minutes. Then add the egg. If your pan is well seasoned, the egg should slide around relatively easily, without any major sticking. If you find that your food is still sticking to your pan, simply repeat the seasoning process. Now that your cast iron skillet is well seasoned, here are a few tips that can make your pan stronger and last longer. Never soak your pan with water overnight. Cast iron's worst enemy is water and soaking your pan is a recipe for rust. A brief rinse or soak with warm water is fine, but try to clean your skillet as soon as you're done cooking with it. Similarly, never put your cast iron pan in a dishwasher. That's a surefire way to remove any seasoning on the pan and damage the material. Cover your pan with a very light layer of oil every time you use it and clean it, not just when you season the skillet. And the best way to keep your pan in tip-top shape? Use it. The more you fry, sear, or bake in it, the better that seasoning will become. If you're looking for any of the cleaning products that we used in this video, use our links below. It won't cost you any extra, and we'll earn some money to help support more videos like this.